good all day you know some people just use their regular perfumes and just spritz it on their body i mean on their clothes and just go but this extra step will actually help you to smell good <laughs> beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Andy aka the dynamite natural and I am back with a new video I make natural hair and girl talk videos so if you love those type of content or those types of content go ahead and subscribe down below and also um, turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each time I post a new video okay so let's get right into the video so today we are going to be talking about how to smell good and of course um if you're not, not new to my channel like if you're new not new to my channel you'll know that i always have my notepad where i jot down my points so that i do not forget any of my points okay so let's get right into it how to smell good all day so the very first tip is having a bath or a shower anyone um smelling nice or smelling good starts from here and you want to use a nice scenting body wash or a nice scenting um bar soap or you can use um sense if you're sensitive you can use sensitive washes or sensitive um bar soaps okay you don't really need to be so extra a good body bar a good body soap is all you need and you also want to use a loofah or exfoliating gloves um, when you use if you use these two stuffs anyone you want to use either a loofah or an exfoliating glove on your body it makes your body um, soft it makes your skin soft it removes dark marks and if you use it continuously your body will feel moisturized and very soft you you can also use a washcloth um, a washcloth if you don't want to use you know a loofah or an exfoliating body wash and of course make sure to, to shower daily and make sure to shower twice a day the thing with sweating um on our daily you know lives we do sweat daily activities we sweat sweat is not necessarily um a thing. on its own it's not necessarily the cause of smell it's when it um mixes with bacteria and you know dead skin cells that it then smells and causes body odor so it's very essential that you bath twice a day at least and then also make sure that you also wash your hair with nice smelling products because when you wash yourself wash your hair with nice smelling products it's also a step to making you smell nice so the second thing is washing down there now um washing down there also includes um your lady parts and your butt okay another thing that i forgot to add in my previous tip in the previous tip which is washing daily or having your shower daily is that you also have to um heat places these places are called hot spots these places are called hot spots because if you let them be over time they can accumulate a lot of dirt and smell badly these hot spots are your armpits the back of your neck um i did write down a couple your armpits the back of your neck your belly button in between your legs your butt and under your ears so when you wash your face make sure that you heat you also wash your ears as well the, all those spots will help you to tone down um body odor and smell okay so about washing down there i wanted to talk about you know the butt when i remember that i didn't hit those um hot spot areas you want to make sure you use the bathroom before you go into the before you have your shower because you want to wipe off every remnant and debris that you probably wouldn't want your fingers on okay so and also when you're washing down there you want to you have three options actually you can just wash with warm lukewarm lukewarm water because you don't want to burn yourself with hot water you can just wash yourself with just lukewarm water you can use a nice scenting feminine wash 
if you're not so sensitive you can use a nice scenting bar soap okay um if you're sensitive because i've read that fragrance actually irritates down there so if you're sensitive you can use a, an unscented but um wash like um I, I think i know dr Bronner's baby unscented pure pastel so i think i've gotten the name mixed up i think it's dr Bronner's baby's unscented pure pastel so it's gentle and can um get yourself down there clean without um irritating you if you're sensitive and also you just need your hands just use your hands and wash down there if you want to take it a bit a step further you can use washcloth but don't use the regular washcloth you use on your skin just use a baby washcloth because it's more gentle and will you know cause less irritation the next thing the next step to smelling nice is you know after your bath after your bath you want to when you come out of the bathroom or when you're done having your shower don't dry yourself off completely okay let your body still be wet then take your scent for the day your body spray your perfume whatever you want to use on your body that day and spritz it on your body okay just rub it in and let it air dry okay this will help it to sink into your body and you know heat that overall scent on your body and you smell good all day you know some people just use their regular perfumes and just spritz it on their body i mean on their clothes and just go but this extra step will actually help you to smell good all day another thing you can do is taking warm to hot showers because it will open up your pores i like to think that will open up your pores and will you know allow the scent to seep in more and you know that's it and the next step is your lotions if you don't want to go all you know wet from the shower a bit just know that a bit of moisture on your skin or a bit of moistness on your skin helps you helps the products that you use to seep in better so you can just use your towel and blood dry your skin gently not taking off everything and it will help when you use products on your body it will help um the product to sink in and keep you moisturized so it will sink in better and your products will sink in better and collect an overall scent nice scent on your body and also you would want another thing you want to do is to layer another thing that you want to do is to layer creams body creams that come you know with its own body spray that if you use a particular body spray with a particular scent you can use a body cream that has that same particular scent it will keep you know that particular scent continuous and help you to maintain and smell nice all day another thing that you want to do is to combine your lotions you can use a body cream that smells nice and but make sure that it's also moisturizing but most of the time some of these smell good or nice smelling creams don't really you know they don't really they, they are not really moisturizing on your skin okay so you want to use a cream that is moisturizing you want to mix a moisturizing cream with a smell good lotion mix it together and use that on your skin okay because you don't just want to smell good and look dry you want to smell good but you also want to also be moisturized is deodorant and i want you to first off i want you to know the difference between deodorant and antiperspirant deodorant cut down on smell and antiperspirant cut down on you know sweat so um, if you're going to be using deodorants you want to use deodorants that don't contain aluminum because they have cancer causing properties but there's a catch because deodorants that don't contain aluminum doesn't they don't really cut down on the funk because it's the um aluminum that helps to keep that funk away okay so you will just have to experiment with different aluminum free deodorants um that help you stay fresh all day, okay and another thing that i want to say here is that 
deodorants are not only meant for your armpits you can use them for other areas especially areas that have folds because those tend to um, rub together and produce a bad smell so you want if you're using deodorants you can also use them on areas especially places like under your breast and other places that have folds okay and if you want to be a little bit extra you can carry a mini size in your purse that you can use you know at different times of the day to keep you smelling fresh so it helps you to you know reduce your overall body um, order or keep the order down everything so the next thing is if you don't want to use a deodorant what I do personally is that I use shea butter and my favorite um, body spray I just use shea butter on my armpits and then use my body spray on there just put it on there it helps the scents to stay all day trust me so the next thing the next step to smelling nice is layering your scents so layering your scents like I just said before you play you can place um, a petroleum jelly on various spots called perfume spots or pulse points this pulse points when you spray um perfume on this pulse points it helps to circulate around your body and distribute a nice smell all through your body so these pulse points include the back of your neck um your collar bones your wrist the crease or the crook of your elbows the small of your back um at the back of your knees trust me the back of your knees and of course your ankles so you place um petroleum jelly onto those spots and then spritz your perfume or your body spray onto those spots they will help that will help the body um perfume or the scent to stick and and you know you know you smell nice all the that 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 whole process i don't know it helps the whole thing to stay together it's almost the same thing as the thing i do with the shea butter and you know my body spray so that's it and when you spray on this perfume onto the um your wrist or those pulse points make sure just be careful resist the urge to rub them together if you really want to do anything just do something like this okay don't don't rub them together let it distribute and circulate on its own throughout the course of the day that's one tip to help me smelling nice all day so that's it and you can also spray a little bit on your clothes you know when you're when you put on your clothes to help you stay fresh all day and another thing is um you can also get a mini spray bottle to put in your purse you can put in your favorite scent or the scent that you're using that day into your mini spray bottle put in your purse and throughout the course of the day you can just bring it out and spritz 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 and go yeah and also um use a nice smelling conditioner use a nice smelling product nice smelling leave-in conditioner nice smelling styling product when you're doing your hair it, it it's part of layering those scents and making them stay fresh helps you smell nice all day okay so the next thing is your clothes the next step to smelling nice all day are your clothes okay so wash your clothes regularly and with a detergent with a nice smell and you want to pick out your clothes on time probably before your morning routine pick out your clothes on time and a favorite spray them and by the time you're done with your whole morning routine to put on your clothes those clothes are smelling all nice and fresh and this helps you to stay fresh all day and another point is when you're washing your clothes out after you're done washing your clothes and your clothes are dry you know in your you've done your whole laundry and your clothes are dry the next thing or the other thing you can do is to spray your clothes with your favorite body spray fold them and fold them up by the time you take them out to wear you know you just you just have to touch it up a little bit if you have to it keeps the, the, the clothes smelling nice and you know you smelling nice as well so the next thing is don't let dirty sweaty clothes to pile up for a long time because I mean 
that will not help you to smell nice <laughs> and also when you're washing you can add a few drops of essential oils like your tea tree oil or your lavender citrus scent or anything of your choice any you know thing you want to use any scent you want to use it really helps to cut down smell and you can another thing you can do under that tip is to put febreze spray on a a piece of paper and put it in your closet it helps your clothes to smell fresh and make sure you're changing your underways regularly you're washing your pants underways and jeans regularly and also the next thing is to avoid excess spandex and polyester they are made or they are fabricated to hold on to a lot of sweat and body odor and if you are going to wear them make sure that you wash them regularly the next step to smelling nice, dental, you know, let's go dental. You want to brush your teeth at least twice a day, every day. You know why this helps? Because it helps to cut down on plague, you know, that builds up in your on your teeth. Cutting down on plague cuts down on gingivitis and cutting down on that saves you from halitosis. And if you don't know what halitosis is, Halitosis means bad breath. So brush your teeth twice a day, every day. You can also choose to brush after each meal. And that the next step is make sure you floss to take out, you know, food that is stuck in between your teeth. Because it's not only sugar that causes cavities. All those food can stay there and rot and you know cause to decay and all can also lead to bad breath okay so you want to brush twice a day floss you can also choose to floss um after each meal and also make sure to use your listerine mouthwash and you can brush and floss i already said that you can brush and floss after each meal and then you also want to keep around minty gums minty in particular minty gums in your purse you can take that anytime you're out of the house maybe you're in school you're at work and you took something you've eaten your lunch you can pop your minty gum into your mouth and you know it helps to keep your breath fresh and make sure you update the two brushes okay <laughs> Let me not even come for y'all. Make sure you update your toothbrushes. Now, the next step is learn to use wet wipes. Using wet wipes um, anytime you use the bathroom. And if you're going to dispose them in the toilet, make sure that they are flushable wipes. And when you're wiping yourself, make sure you you're wiping from front to back so that you're not spreading germs and bacteria to where they should be okay and you can also use both scented and unscented okay so the next step is food food especially when we're talking about down there make sure you 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 stay away from spicy foods and even if you're going to eat them not as much stay away from excess spicy foods like garlic and onions because it can cause a more pungent pungent odor both down there and in your mouth okay so yeah and the last but finest final step to smelling nice are your feet your feet the feet can cause or can carry a lot of odor on its own so washing them is not enough so here are some tips that you should take wear breathable socks okay wear breathable socks and don't wear your shoes out on a daily like back to back make sure you air dry them as much as you can probably daily or every other day just make sure you dry them i mean you air dry them and of course stay out of your shoes when you can especially when you're indoors because your feet going in and out of your shoes and going into places and out those can you know that can cause your feet to be constricted and it can cause your feet to smell bad and another thing is that the sole of your feet that thick skin and the sole of your feet can carry a lot of bad odor on its own so make sure that when you're washing yourself when you're having your bath your shower make sure that you concentrate on those parts you know the sole of your feet i know that 
you can also use a stone a washing stone that is you know I don't really know about that I don't really use that but my mom uses you know a stone to wash her feet so yeah that's that that's all the tips I have for you on how to smell nice I hope I really hope that this helped and if you found this video helpful do well to give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe down below for more content like this and also turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time i post a new video i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye